So your job is to reread the sentence that we read yesterday. See if you remember how to read these kanji. And then to line up. Hi. And this guy right here is na ra nara naranda. Nara naranda. Hi. The the large woman woman's the, the large woman lined up. Hi, hi, perfect. In a line. So picture these women right here who are all lined up in a line as if they are giants. Super big. So like put this landmark and make it like teeny tiny. Um, and then that was that picture I vaguely mm -hmm. talked to you about. Like, hey, look, it's a bridge. Just so that you know, this weird ass bridge has EA on them. How strange. What a weird ass bridge. Anyway, do you know what Sayu means? Sayu, left and right. So, so. Both sides. So it ends with you. What does it start with? Sa. Hi, Sa. Um, can you read this word for me? Hachi narabu. Perfect. So this is basically the same as narabu. Um, it just insinuates you're in a row, which uh doesn't so. Same as narabu, really. They're just sometimes authors don't want to use the same word too many times in a row. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? I hear say, Ashi no tsayu ni ie ie ga ichiretsu de tachi naranda. The bridge. Um, the houses. Yeah, yeah. Right, Mani? Yeah, we got houses. Yep. The houses are lined up in a road to the left and to the right of the bridge. Hi. So, one way it could mean is that this is me walking on a bridge. There's houses on this side and on that side. So kind of like this weird ass picture I had shown you how there's weird ass houses built on to the bridge. Um, so ah, that's what you should have in your mind. I've never seen this before, but must be a British then. Um, so it's this left and right star with Sa. Do you know what it ended with? Um, start with Sa you, sa you. Is it a long you or a short you? Long you. Right, sa you, perfect, perfect. Oh, I had a long sentence here. Um, this is the goal. Not the goal. Never mind. Uh, read the whole sentence. Actually, let's see what I wanted. Rope no. Tatbo, tatbo. Atebo no yu kuchi ni kata bo kata kata ho no yu kuchi so de guchi so yu chi so de so de guchi ni wa Sayu ni tsubasa no aru. Yo sa suna suna to oke. O aoi netto de ishu. Ita Ika uh, 
way to get that it uh, suzume sweet 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 okay no me nui to get that no no ga nui to get that okay so first question did you know that sode could be on its own you have the word sode you know what sode means on its own is that a sleeve yeah a sleeve, a sleeve of the how about a kuchi what does kuchi mean on its own kuchi in entrance right it can be an entrance or a mouth or something so since these two words have their own identity. You can find them by themselves. So when you combine them together, the second one is going to be getting rendaku. That is that voicing to get Gucci. So you you did pronounce that right right here. However, kata ho, you try to guess ho as bo. However, kata doesn't really exist on its own. Kata is almost is always going to be married. It can't handle living on its own. So there's no reason for ho to strive for independence. I don't know, to strive for the adding voicing to itself. So that that's why you don't get voicing in this word because kata cannot be independent. So suna can be on its own. Suna is um sand. And then we have toke. Made out of um, G and like K or something. So these two are both have the we are married readings of to, ke, i, toke. And we're adding the word toke and sand together. So what do you think it's supposed to happen when we're combining a word that is made out of something that's not on its own and a word, but that's been combined to a new word? Plus a word that's like one country character. I don't know if I'm like describing that in a good way in the sentence. Oh, uh, here. This guy is like kata. They don't exist on its own. <laughs> so here we are saying is suna doke. Hi, hi, doke. Yeah. I'm just trying to like to point out like the what how you could guess that the re that the reading's coming on. Because since you know this is toke. And that's suna, and they're two independents getting married. The idea is that you're adding rendaku to make it obvious that the two independents are married, because otherwise it's confusing. Because if you have two independents together and you don't add the rendaku, they might just be independent sitting next to each other for just because of no reason. Maybe, maybe someone was talking real fast and they accidentally dropped the particle in between them. Because that does happen in um, speaking Japanese. So the rendaka makes it very obvious that, oh, these two independents, they're actually married, is is kind of the idea. Mm. There, there's exceptions to this, of course, but I thought this was a really good place to point that out because um, we had some good examples, I felt like, for that. Like Sayu has married reading, so they don't count for that. But this guy does have whole, but kata is not, a, kata is not independent. Um, anyway, that was all I wanted to do. Um, can you read this disgusting sentence for me? So bright blue. Nijunen ni wataru. Oh, mm, this is hard. I forgot. Zuiho. Something ho. Hi. Zuiho. Expel. Hi. Um, exile. Yep. For 20 years, wataru is to go round and round. Mm, that's a... I was expelled. Wataru, right? Like going in circle? I think I think about mawaru. Mawaru. Um, wataru is like point A to point B. Makes any sense. What that is? Oh, what I just clicked it means um to cross is uh, what that is. What that so, is to cross. So this is an exile that 
started and is basically ending at the 20 year is the idea it's kind of going through this whole time so you could also do like tatsu if you want to be more time focused but what that do um as a verb means like to cross so if you're in like a boat and you're crossing between like one land mass to another land mass that's another example when what that do will show up so it's basically the idea is that there's a point a and a point b and you're going across to the new point so this in case the crossing is happening over time with point A being zero nen and the end point being the niju uh, nen. And I'm going to quickly give myself the, oh, I already have one for that. Nice. Um, in that case, I'll just go to the next slide once it loads. So what that is to cross, how would you put that into volational form? Hmm. Okay, so we say relational is o. So it's wataro. Wataro. Hi. I will go. Hi. I will cross. I will cross. Perfect. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Waka o wataro to tsuru. O ona. The woman, the large, the large woman that did the cross. No, did she did the cross? No, that did that had determined to cross the river. Did she actually cross though? Tosuru. Hi. Tosuru means I'm guessing Tosuru is either she going to cross. So going to cross. She habitually cross. So going to cross would be kawa o wataro o na o na. Right? Wataro. Wataro tosuru is a woman that attempts to cross the river. This o tosuru means to attempt. The idea is that she made a plan in her brain to cross, but she hasn't actually succeeded in completing the action yet when the word is being used. In general, about 90% of the time, the action is never like actually completed, so it gets like interrupted by something. But sometimes it does get completed in the next line. But when this shows up, it means she planned to do it. She has not finished doing it yet. So one sentence we saw that used o to do that I tend to show up was suwaro suwaro to suru. Why does it always do that to suwaru suwaro to suru? So I think it was toshitara actually, and then nobody grabbed his arms. Actually, it's taking too long to type that. So I attempted to sit, but never really caught my arms. Ore no ube o tsukumaita. Um, that's what we used to see. Um, can you read this for me? Hi, it's Ishimaki Ao. Perfect. So this means to crowd together. So Ao is like together, and Ishimaki would be like to crowd. That's the be like being all shoved together. And here's our last line of the day. Hi. Um, on. Yami. Yami yobashi. Right, this is the rendaku. Yami yobashi. Hi. Because the yo is independent. There is such a thing as a yo Hi. by itself. Um, yobashi. No, ue no sayu ni. Um, tachi narab. Tachi narab. Narab is the line up. Hi. As you can see, they have the word again, narab. So they didn't want to have the word narab in here twice. 
So we have reinin narabu and tachi narabu, which have the exact same meaning, but they didn't want to use the exact same word twice. Se no takai ie ie wa ichiretsu ni zuratto narande kawa o wataro to ishimeki atte iru o onatachi mitai da. Perfect. Why do you think there's a comma here? Hint is readability. So the houses are the, the houses that are tall, um, that are standing in a row, um, they are. To the left and to the right on top of the night shadow bridge. Hi. These houses, they. Zurato. Pause. Why do you think there's a comma here? Why does it have? It's not a grammatical comma, but it's for readability is my hint. It makes it a lot easier to read this with a comma than without a comma because of how many verbs are used in a certain relative clause. So it marks the wa as in it's saying, I still don't know why they put the comma there. I, even this, without the comma, it's this still... This whole section right here is is a relative clause. So even though we have a de here, this de is not describing the ie ie. This de is describing the o onna no kotachi. So this comma is being used to say, hey, we have a ie ie, but this might not be actually part of that wa. It's saying this is our main subject, but it might not be connected to the subject of the next verb you see. As like a hint. Kind of like when we'd see ta form or ru form and then a comma, which would normally end a sentence, but it's marking that, hey, this is a relative clause that's probably not modifying the next word you see. Please look for the head of the next phrase is how you can kind of think about it. So this means the ie ie wa is our sentence here. So the comma is here to help mark that this is excessive information in the middle here. So what does this part say? This part say that the houses are like mitai. They seems like Large woman. Hi, perfect. Yep, they look like large woman. Um, what kind of large woman? Women that are shime, hishime, ishime, ki atte iru, that are crowded. Hi. Together. Hi, and what else are they trying to do? They are kawa o wataro. They, they are trying to cross the river. And what else? And it's ichire ni. In, in a row, they zurato narande. They line up in a zurato way. Hi. Uh, zura was that zurari word that we saw not that long ago. Actually, it was probably a long time ago. Study. <laughs> um, that that was chapter two, I think. So we'll be seeing it soon. Oh wait, no, we did see it not that long ago when we we're talking about the hay. We would have already saw that. Um, cup, cup, two weeks ago. Uh, it means like to be in a row. 
So the idea is that it's not like so like things can be like in a row, you know, but doesn't have to be like evenly in a row. So sura and uh, surari have the idea of almost like dominoes, where there's like an even spacing, or perhaps in this case, no spacing since they're hishimekiao. So they're all just in a row, mm. rather than like being in a row, but then having like random gaps in it, where people are like, eh, randomly spaced out. So this means it's not randomly spaced. Hi. So yeah, this is why uh, before we read that line, I made you stare at this picture for two seconds. Okay, that's what they're describing, right? They're describing Aye. giant women that are trying to cross a river. And when a giant woman tries to cross a river, they're going to pick up their skirts like this because they're women. That's why it's not men crossing the river. So you have their little legs and they're all right next to each other in a row crossing the river, which... Reminds the main character of the way the houses on the side of the bridge look like to him for some reason. Um, so the houses would be the skirt, right? And then <laughs> that would be the feet. Uh, it was definitely a very convoluted metaphor that I took a bit to understand. What the heck? Who are they describing? But it is definitely something. Um, and that is where we are ending for 